Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Satellite Rain. We are in the Dracogenics military compound and we're not being overly successful because we're a little bit yeah, maybe unlucky, maybe the strategy isn't too great. And we also have the entire team with us, well, bar the infiltrator who died and is now waiting outside for us to come back. Would be nice to have the infiltrator, but uh, at the moment I'm just gonna have to make do with these three. And of course the uh, hacker is not gonna be doing anything except hacking, because she already has the prototype. I'm gonna turn off the camera system. And then use one of my guys. To, uh, to go there and steal the stuff. Uh oh, they saw us. Let's go. Oh. They didn't know? Well, either way, I'm still gonna keep my people here. And you, Miss Soldier, is gonna infiltrate this place. Let's go. No time to waste, because that other patrol is gonna come back. Any time now. Go, 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 go. Gotta hide. Perfect! Just enough energy to do that. And of course the cameras are still down, so we're gonna wait for these guys to uh, go past. And then go into the restricted area of the supply station. I thought he was actually gonna go up there. Good. Excellent. So what did we get? Facility breached. The supply, uh, the supply docks are down south and it's a major receiving point for, okay, for lots of mil-spec gear here in the lower districts. The loading station should basically be one big equipment locker full of sweet, sweet loot. Alright, let's go. Uh, that's pretty good. A clean getaway, ho ho ho, he said, having been shot at multiple, multiple times before. Right, so there's one more mission we have to do here. Uh, wait, what did it say? Let's see if anyone knows of an easy way in. Oh yeah, if, if you want to purchase information. Here's the compound's real treasure, their armory. It's the heart of the facility and they treat it that way. It's got lots of guards, but lots of goodies inside. The front door hasn't even got an external access port. Breaking in won't be easy, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Uh, we've got an info broker saying he's got something decent for us, but he's been coy when it comes to clues. He wants cash like they always do, but he said he was willing to give us the information for a little recon work. Your call team. No, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go there ourselves. And I'm wondering, should I bring the infiltrator back as well? Because we basically have to go almost all the way back and over here. This is the armory. And this is very close to the entrance, but probably not worth the effort. Um, so let's go over here and shut off this bloody camera. Let's disable it. Uh, a little late there. There we go. Bye. <laughs> All right, so where are we going to go? We're going to go up there. And we need one of these soldiers. Actually, this one's not a bad uh, choice here. He's sort of isolated from the rest. Go, go, go. The cameras are down. Excellent. Uh oh, shite. There's a patrol coming. Quickly. Right. <clears throat> Everything's in order. Life is great. Life is perfect. You know what? Let's get you onto this side. Oh, shite. She's almost out of energy. Didn't notice that. I guess she used it for the hijack. There we go. Much better. Everything is great. I love my life. It's good that you do. Let's get you over there. Now, the dangerous thing you can do, like I did once, is press Control A, which selects all your agents. Why are you standing out in the open again? Which selects all your agents, and it's fine and, you know... That's, that's a completely good thing, normally. But the problem is, 
<laughs> It'll also select the infiltrator and I have no idea how but last time I was here I did that and he went through past all the bloody guards and everything doors cameras I have no idea how he did it without you know getting attention and he came over to me and I was like what the hell is going on <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was very strange. Alright, so there's the place we need to go. And actually, hmm. Do I want to go here? Well, I do. Let's go past here, come on. Do it quickly, because that camera is gonna check us out. And that guard is coming dangerously close. Alright, let's go over here. Uh-oh. Alright, he's gonna go behind that wall. So that is very, very good. And there's a patrol coming over there as well. Brilliant! Now, fortunately, with this guy, I believe I can open the doors. Yes, I can. More to the point, I believe I can open these doors. Which are a pain to open, because you have you need level 3 hardwiring if you want to open them. And of course, that is a major issue. Alright, how about with the flip that there? Alright, that drone is a problem. But they're gonna go away. No! Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> and these guys as well. They have a drone, so. Okay, let's just go past here. Come on, go through! <sighs> Son of a bitch! Actually, what I'm gonna do is have this guy fire at people. Come on, run! Hide. Hide. Alright, the Dracogenics guy is dead. Which is a bad thing, because now I need another one. And the problem with this here is you can see that this is only half cover. Which means drones from there can actually spot me sometimes. Uh -oh. Well, I, I can use a drone as well. It's not a problem. And now I can actually go in. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh, man. This is pretty nice. Alright, let's go in. We have three prototypes on the way. Well, it's, yeah, it, it could have gone a lot cleaner. Uh, for my taste, it was very, very messy, but... Oh, well. Uh, we've got an in... Oh, okay. Uh, we gotta get out for... You know, for the text. So now we only use this um, terminal, which does not have any security, and get out. There we go. Let's go. Off we go. Into the shadows. Alright. It's gonna get. It's gonna be a little tricky getting out. We'll have to hardwire that or hack. Actually, that's a security terminal with no security, and the terminal for the cameras is all the way over there somewhere. There it is. No, that's a camera. So that's not perfect. All right, let's get out of here. Using as little energy as possible. I think that drone will see us. When we hide over here. Uh, no, I won't. Okay, excellent, excellent. Very nice. Alright. Let's get out of here. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> we got the prototype. We got it. Alright, no uh, guards here at the moment. That is very nice. 
cameras, of course, but, uh, yeah. We don't care about no cameras. We just cloak. Alright, excellent. Let's use the terminal and get out of here. Well, that was quite a successful mission. Lots of stuff done. I believe we'll have to be back, though. Look at all that stuff. <laughs> We're in, but there's not much here of value. We found a couple of things worth looting, but we knew it was going to be a crapshoot coming here, team. So don't sweat the small stuff. So that was the supply docks. What about the rest? Where's the flavor text? Let's see. What about the barracks? New recruits are the best, always leaving something useful lying around, never remembering to lock up their toys. Someone is going to be made an example of. Firewall protection and laser targeting. What about the armory? Good work, that's a big pile of equipment you got there. Let's get it to the guys in R&D and see what they can do for us. Plasma pistol, leg biofibers, and zip claw. Ah. Alright, so let's see the research. Wow. Uh, let's see, firewall print. Enhances the security features of neural implants, protecting them from interference from enemy jammers. Well, that's quite nice. That's actually really nice. The bearded monkey biocarbon fiber was introduced nearly 20 years ago in this model of their leg augmentation series. The design has gone on to provide many with, uh, many with its unique armor and health regenerating properties. Hmm. What's this? I mean, the zip claw is just, you know, the high tensile clamp and pulley system, which allows an equipped agent to attach to any cable, converting it into a zip wire capable of extreme loads. Perfect for those who require a covert entrance. This device is not electrically insulated and should be used under adult supervision. <laughs> and there's the proxy hacker. What is that? Using Wi-Fi. <laughs> This devi allo uh, device allows the hacker agent to remote access any other agent who has the de device equipped. Huh. They, this effectively gives the user the ability to hack into any systems the hacker agent can access. Wow. So you can just send in the infiltrator with this. That's quite nifty, actually. Very nifty. Would I, uh, this would have a lot more value for me if I didn't have the team-wide cloaking. But that is pretty insane. Plasma pistol. The standard plasma pistol features a single plasma chamber filled with a patented superheated plasma solution. The weapon is slower to fire compared to regular ballistics weaponry, but packs a harder punch and has been specifically designed as an anti-armor sidearm. Plasma slugs burn through armor like a hot knife butter uh, through butter, but are easily stopped by standard shielding technologies. What's the laser? Puts a red dot where you want the bullet to go. <laughs> oh, sorry, when you want the bullet to go. Um, right. Uh, hmm. So how much, how does that compare to the plasma pistol? Because this is the biggest hand cannon in the market, so it's obviously... Whoa, yeah, it's got a lot more. I'm actually gonna purchase this, probably. I will need the plasma muffler, which I don't have, though. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Firewall protection is very nice, but I need six researchers. I could outsource it, but it's very expensive. Um, hmm. That proxy hacker isn't bad, though. It's very interesting. Let's see the missions now. Alright, satellite rain. Black market dealer has some augmentations. No, he doesn't. Checkpoint credentials for industrial district. Alright. Smuggler's too careful for this to be so easy. Get us a second terminal dedicated to running these traces. Maybe we'll get lucky. Where is that? There. Let's fast travel then. Man, that was... Yeah, that place was messy. That was bad. But, in a way, I kind of agree with what people have said on the reviews. It's a little too easy to bust into things and get away with it, you know, if even if you screw up. Some people have been saying that they were foregoing stealth completely and just simply using, um, you know, uh, just going through, just sprinting. Uh, we have to access this crate, but it's obviously an illegal thing to do as well, so we gotta do it quickly. Come on. Can actually cloak in the meantime. Ha! 
Package acquired. What package? I thought we needed a terminal. Uh, there we go. Spotted him. I sent a friendly request and he's okay with the meat, but only after we prove ourselves. He wants us to pick up a package and deliver it. I don't like running errands either, but this one should be worth it. The package is near Thompson Towers in the Golden Mile. Package acquired. Oh, okay, so this was the part of it. Uh, now he wants us to play delivery squad to the Dracogenics Armory here in the downtown district. So you gotta be shitting me. Ah, crap! We were just there! Damn. Okay. Let's let's be a little more careful. We'll just send the um, uh, infiltrator this time, and what we'll do is also get a Dracogenics military guy for safekeeping, so he'll be opening the doors. It's going to be a little easier, and also skill points. Five skill points! Holy crap! Wow. Okay then. Um. Hmm. Now the thing is, I don't know what level 3 will do. You know, scan radius 30 to 40 meters, that's quite nice. And cost of purchasing info reduced, that's okay, even though I don't really use it that much. But what does level 3 do? Is it worth going for? I have no idea. Uh, field medic uh, increases each agent's health generation by 0.1 per second. It's a bit bad. Uh, this though, leadership. Cooldown... Energy regen, max energy. I like this. Maybe even more of it. I do like that. Team Stims is also quite kind of interesting. Slows time to 50% of normal. Mm. You know what? I'm going to do this. Wow, so you can purchase info for free then. I'm actually going to do that. That's quite good. Just get info on everything. Let's see. Come on. I'm scanning. There we go. Yeah, that, that's quite cool. Increase health by 30%. Wow. I'm gonna hijack these guys. Because I'm such a hijacker. And go. Actually, he's... He only requires... Oh, how the hell did he not see us do that? Thank you. Alright. So now we can go. And also increase other people. Wow. Uh, hijacking could be cool. Hijack level 3. Hmm. But I'm going to go for hacking right now. And get another skill point for level 4 hacking. Master Thief. See, more cash will be stolen if I uh, get the Master Thief level 3. But also Cloak will reduce uh, stealth energy drain, which is kind of cool. Melee attack is also kind of cool, but you do have to get right up to them. Um, increase speed, sniper damage, sniper range. I'm gonna get the Master Thief. For now. And the Soldier will get more hardwiring. There we go. So we have to go to this area. Dracogenics again. Boop, 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 boop. And we're gonna get in next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.